I gave the Foreign and Foreign Affairs Minister two opportunities to condemn the increasingly common and terrifying anti-Semitic chants we hear in the streets. Israel will soon be gone. There is, no, there is only one solution, intifada revolution. Twice she refused to condemn those remarks. She continues to pander to Hamas supporters in the Liberal Party as part of her leadership campaign rather than doing her job. So I'll give her another chance. Semitism, I hope, in this House, any form of discrimination. And I really hope that my colleague in front will apologize. Right on. Right on. This government has, has sought to divide Canadians by saying one thing to one group and precisely the opposite to another group. And here in this House, remaining radio silent on condemning anti-Semitic chants and on supporting Israel's right to truly defend itself by retaliating. A year ago today, a sadistic and genocidal death cult, Hamas, carried out the biggest attack on Jews since the Holocaust and has a hundred more hostages. Bring them home. Here at home, though, our Jewish friends and neighbors have been doubly victimized as anti-Semitic mobs take to the streets, shouting from Palestine to Lebanon, Israel will soon be gone. There's only one solution, intifada, revolution. Will the government clearly and unequivocally condemn these genocidal chants from hateful mobs on our streets? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, Judy Weinstein, Vivian Silver, Ben Mizrachi, Netta Epstein, Sheer Georgi, Alexandre Luc, Idal Vital Kaplun, Tiferet Lapido, may their memories be a blessing. It was my honor to have met with their families here at home and in Israel. And on the anniversaries of Hamas' horrific attacks, my promise to their loved ones is the following. Year after year, Canadians will honor their memories, and to Jewish people, we stand with you. We won't relent until the last hostage returns home. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. She does relent every single day, just like her leader. I asked a very simple question. Mobs have taken to the streets in front of Jewish homes, hospitals, and businesses to shout anti-Semitic hate slogans. I quoted a number of them and invited the minister to rise to her feet and specifically condemn them, to stand with Jews against the anti-Semitism that has been allowed to pro proliferate on our streets. So once again, will she condemn these anti-Semitic chants? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Justice and Solicitor General. Mr. Speaker, today is October 7th, an anniversary of a horrific attack on Jews. 1,200 people killed, over 200 people taken hostage. Our solidarity is with Jews in Israel and with Jewish people in Canada and right around the world. What we stand up against absolutely is the amount of hatred that we have seen in this country and countries around the world where people will target Jewish Canadian schools, daycares and synagogues for the acts that they have a problem with on another side of the world. We are better than that in this country. We need to stand up against that kind of hatred in support of Jewish people and in place of all people who defend their ability to worship how and whom they choose. I gave the Foreign and Foreign Affairs Minister two opportunities to condemn the increasingly common and terrifying anti-Semitic chants we hear in the streets. Israel will soon be gone. There is, no, there is only one solution, intifada revolution. Twice she refused to condemn those remarks. She continues to pander to Hamas supporters in the Liberal Party as part of her leadership campaign rather than doing her job. So I'll give her another chance. Will she publicly support Israel's right to retaliate against the tyrants of Tehran and the terrorists in Hezbollah and Hamas to protect itself? Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. We don't do politics about... 
I'm... I just want to uh, encourage all members to ensure, uh, consistent with rulings in the past, and I will come back to this near the end of the uh, question period, but just to caution all members to please be judicious in their words. The Honourable Minister for Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, if there's a day where we don't do politics about people's lives being taken or people being killed, it's today. Anti-Semitism, I hope, in this House, any form of discrimination, and I really hope that my colleague in front will apologize. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. If there was ever a day when we needed a government to stand up for what was right, this would be that day. Yeah. has sought to divide Canadians by saying one thing to one group and precisely the opposite to another group. And here in this House, remaining radio silent on condemning anti-Semitic chants and on supporting Israel's right to truly defend itself by retaliating against the terrorists and tyrants. Why won't she do the right thing and stand beside the Jewish people today? Yeah. The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, one year ago in the Middle East, peace was broken by a violent terrorist attack by Hamas. On this side of the ocean, we deserve to do better in terms of the protest that we articulate. It needs to be peaceful. What that means is you don't go out on the streets and target a daycare. You don't go out on the streets and target a community centre. You don't go out on the streets and target a synagogue. Our resolve to fight anti-Semitism is strong. It has been strong since this parliament started when we outlawed the will for promotion of anti-Semitism. It is even stronger now when we're advocating for more strict penalties, which that party opposes. St. Paul. One year ago today, Jews experienced the worst attack since the Holocaust. Innocent Jews were barbarically slaughtered. Women's bodies were broken from vicious rape. Children tortured in front of their parents. People burned alive and mutilated. 1,200 Jewish lives were horrifically ended that day. And 101 hostages continue to be held by Hamas terrorists responsible for this massacre. And since then, unbelievably, right here in Canada, Jews have experienced relentless anti-Semitism, targeting Jewish business schools, retirement homes and synagogues. It is a national failure that Jews no longer feel safe in this country. And yet Jewish people continue to fight. Their resolve is stronger than ever. Conservatives stand with them and with the state of Israel. We condemn the anti-Zionist hatred and the spineless Canadian leaders who have allowed it to take root here at home. Today we pray for Israel and for the victory of Western democratic values. Am Israel high. Here, here. 